Hi everybody, this is Tracy with Teapot Lactation. I'm excited today to bring you my Spectra pump tutorial. As you can see, I have right here a Spectra S2 pump. This tutorial will work for both the Spectra S1 and S2 pumps as these are essentially the same pump. The only real difference between the two models is that the Spectra S1, which also happens to be blue, can store a battery charge. So I'm just gonna go step by step, give you a basic tutorial, teach you how to use your pump, what the different buttons mean, and how to get the best results with your breast pump. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by taking a little tour of all the pieces that come with your breast pump when you purchase it. So you have your pump itself. This is the unit with the motor in it. And we'll talk about the buttons in just a moment. Typically it comes with two different sets of flanges a set of valves, two sets of backflow protectors, and a set of bottles. Each one of these pieces needs to be sterilized prior to first use, and you can do that either by boiling or using a micro steam bag. I'll talk about that in a different video. But assuming you have all your pieces sterilized and ready to go, we are going to proceed with talking about how to put everything together. So to put the backflow prevention pieces together, it comes with kind of a rubbery valve style piece right here. That is going to fit carefully around this end piece. And then that kind of pops on to the other side. There's one side where the port is skinnier than the other side. That's the side the tubing is gonna push on to. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So the valve, this duckbill valve piece, we're going to push that on to the base of this flange and the larger side of the backflow preventer piece pushes into the back of that flange like this. The bottle screws on to the bottom of that unit and this makes one of our pump sets. Now I have a different video where I talk about how to figure out what size flange you need please watch that before the first time you use your breast pump because it's really important to make sure you're pumping with the right size flange to make sure that you get the best results and you empty your breast the most effectively. Your Spectra pump comes like this as far as the covers to where the tubing attaches to the pump. So this setup is fine if you only intend to pump one side for the most part, I don't recommend pumping one breast at a time because you don't get the same hormone release and you tend to get less nipple stimulation that way. You also tend to leak milk in the early days. So if we're gonna set this up for two-sided use, I'm gonna remove that rubber cover and believe you me, I have done that many times. It took a while to get good at it because it is really on there. You may need to use like a pen cap or a safety pen or something to get that off, but it does come off. You're going to attach your tubing, both pieces of tubing, to these ports. Make sure it's on there snugly. Might take a minute to do. But now that that's on there, we are ready to hook up the other side to our pump set. So the side that the tubing goes on to is the skinnier side. You are going to take the tubing and push it on to that side. So now we have our set hooked up and ready to go. So here is the display on our Spectra pump. As soon as I turn it on, you'll see the LED screen come on. Now what I'm looking at here is I have a cycle speed, I have a timer, I have a pleth, and then I have a suction level. So I'm going to talk about what each of these mean. The cycle speed has to do with how many times per minute the suction fires. So normally, I think a good middle of the road setting that works for most people would be about 46. That may be something you need to kind of experiment with and see if you get better yield results from using a different setting or not. But I usually recommend starting with a setting of 46. And then when we first start pumping, I don't recommend using a really high suction pressure. We wanna to work toward using the highest comfortable setting, but I usually recommend not starting above a level five on the suction. 
Now, this handy timer in the middle is keeping track of how long I've been pumping. And then I have my little pleth display that shows me my pump is working. So, those things all mean we are pumping now. Now, that being said, when I first fire up this pump, if my milk has come in, which hopefully I'm not pumping until after my milk is in, but if my milk has come in, I'm gonna actually use this wavy lines button in the middle for the first two minutes of my pumping session. And as you can see, that makes little wavy lines that kind of look like bacon. I call that button the bacon. Kind of makes some little wavy lines come up on the display. That tells you right now, this pump is in massaging mode. That setting is meant to help massage mom's breasts and stimulate milk letdown, which happens in about the two minute mark most of the time. Uh, maybe sooner, maybe later, everyone's body is different. But I recommend, when you start a pumping session, plan on pumping for about 15 to 20 minutes unless directed to do otherwise by a lactation professional. But you're gonna start by hitting the bacon and making the wavy lines come up. Pumping at this setting with cycle speed goes to 70. We want the suction nice and low. This is at a one, which should be just fine. And keeping the settings like this until you hit about the two minute mark or until you get a milk let down and you can watch your handy timer in the middle to keep track of that. So now I'm gonna talk about what it should look like while you're pumping. So we've talked about our settings, we've got our pump up and going. What should I be seeing? I'm gonna place the flange over this breast model, and anytime the suction fires, I should see just mom's nipple getting pulled into the straight part of the flange, which is called the neck. So make sure you have had someone assess your flange size and that you know you're pumping with the correct flange size before using your pump. And you can see now that mom's getting good suction, just her nipples going into the middle of the flange. You're gonna wanna stay pumping for a total of 15 to 20 minutes for most women. So now that we're done pumping, it's very important that you take good care of your pump parts by taking everything apart including removing the valve. This is an important step that I find a lot of moms skip. Removing the valve, taking everything off the tubing, and washing all your pump parts with hot soapy water, except the tubing. Only air goes through the tubing, so please do not wash your pump tubing with hot soapy water. Put it in a sterilizer or put it through the dishwasher. It can actually cause damage to the pump. The pump's not meant to get uh, moisture in the motor. So we're gonna wash all of our pump pieces with hot soapy water after every use and make sure we keep our pump nice and clean and free of bacteria. So that is our basics tour of the Spectra S1, S2 pump. Hope you found this helpful and educational. As always, please reach out to me, either DM me, send me an email, tracy at teapotlactation.com reach out to me if you have more questions about how to make the best use of your Spectra pump.